ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Goat, I swear a lot, so if your parents don't want you to listen to that, I suggest you plug in some headphones, turn down the volume, or watch a different video, because I do tend to swear a lot. Now, as you may see from my last video, I'm in a different base. I logged in to my other server this morning, about three hours ago I was gonna farm up some stuff and make some items of the day you know that maybe an hour's worth of work and my base had been completely obliterated it was all gone my inventory was empty and everything was gone I was still stood like just outside the base where I logged out because there was a t-rex and I didn't want to go near him I've actually got a picture of that that um, I'll put in at the end of this video or at the start of this video. I'm not sure which way around I do it. Surprise, motherfucker. But, um, yeah, we're on the PvE server now. I logged into the PvE server. Um, my bed was gone. My crafting table was gone. So I assumed my friend had logged in. He was being an asshole. So I just left the base. He can have it. I don't care. And, um, I thought, right, okay. I spent maybe two hours ish walking around looking for a nice spot we got this area here it's not too bad I've collected every single pile of rock that I came across I ended up with maybe 500 and something rocks so I had loads of platforms made I've made up the walls that I could I had a load of logs like iron ingots and stuff that I had saved up from my other base um, now at the other base I did actually manage to strike oil so I have some more advanced items but I won't get into that yet today I was gonna do the next crafting table which is the CNC crafting table which we need four metal plates so we scroll down well we need metal pipes metal plates platinum iron and gold so the plates you need four so I believe you get two every time you click it We'll find out in a second. CNC crafting table. Right. Let's craft this bad boy. Now, in my inventory, like I said, this is the PVE server. I've been on here for quite a few hours now. My inventory is a little bit different. As you can see, I have a shotgun, some ammo, and the M4 something sniper that doesn't seem to kill anything so I would just recommend the shotgun if you're that far ahead in the game and uh, I've got oil bullets uh, some dino food I could have just hidden all of that stuff or put it somewhere where you guys wouldn't see it but there's no point in that right Here's, I'm very sorry about my nose I'm having a bit, bit of a hay fever attack it rained a lot yesterday so all the shit's kicked up and all the trees are sending their pollen round to each other and it, it, it's an insult on my senses right, the main reason I wanted to show that today is because you've seen me build the standard watchtowers which granted a lot of people would use them as sniping towers I use them to climb up to see where there's rock or whether there's any dinos around and stuff. I'm not a PvP player on games like this because you put in so much effort to have it all taken away. Some people enjoy that when they're winning. Other people, they, they're just not interested. I'm not. It doesn't bother me. I, I wanted to put in some light towers. These bad boys. We need 16 metal pipes. How many do we have? Metal pipes. We have two, so we'll go back to the metal pipes. Let's see what happens if we build like a few. Because I'm going to be building a few light towers, so. Now we need metal wire and metal plates. So we'll make the metal plates. I just got a message on Skype. That's my friend. I've been trying to get hold of him for the last half an hour. Uh, light tower. 
So a metal wire. I believe that's a blueprint and why I wanted to blueprint metal wire, yeah it is. How many do we need? Four. So we need one, two, three, and four. Alright, the blueprints, as you can see where they say blueprint, blah blah blah. Close that that's why I wanted to show building this because you come over to here hopefully it'll work first time can't guarantee that it will but then sometimes you put it in it won't start you have to walk away try again now that will carry on doing its thing on this table do we have any unrefined stones on us no as you look I collected a shit ton of resources I still got more over here that I took out because I was a bit paranoid when I first put the base down. I can actually stack those up now. I'm not sure the exact amount, but that's leather. So yeah, I have done a little bit of dino hunting. Not too much. I will show a video on that though been doing some practicing today was the first time I killed a dino I got myself um, two t-rexes and a velociraptor so, there's two uh, let's make sure we've still got enough iron ingots actually light tower no so we need a furnace. Put ourselves a furnace. I haven't put the house down yet because I've got a plan for the base. So let's put the furnace down. Where did you go? We'll put that. Um, I don't want it too close to the other stuff because it will sort of bug it out. Right, let's go grab all the ores out of the table because this is going to burn for a f quite a while now I'd imagine I'm going to bung in all my logs and everything that I've got right, and our CNC table's finished I didn't pre-figure out what I was going to need for what so it's going to be a slightly longer video than I'd hoped for. I was hoping maybe four minutes, but given that I have to do this, because I didn't plan ahead, I was sort of a bit grumped out that my base had been smashed up and taking away all that effort. It was a PvP server, so people were entitled to do whatever they wanted. Any more ores? Yeah, sulfur. Right, where's my logs? There they are, I've got 79 of them, so that'll burn for quite a while. Right. Let's head over, grab our wire. What would be nice with the crafting, whilst I'm thinking about it, and whilst I've got a minute spare, is when you open your crafting table, it'd be nice if it said how many of what you had. Do you know what I'm saying? sounded like butters then. Uh, light tower. Like if it was to say that's how many you need and then like a little brackets over here for each one of how much you've got so as you know like what you need to make or whatnot instead of having to constantly swap between the two tabs or if there was a way of having them both open at the same time or something. I think you only need two so that won't take very long. Two over two have been made. There's one. I'm gonna have so many resources after this, but it will make making videos easier, I guess. I do keep getting random spawns of rocks over in this sort of area, like this section. Always in the water, or just up on that hill. I do get them outside the front door every now and then. I'll show the front of it. 
I can get over there without lagging because I'm actually doing all the recording on one computer today. That. Alrighty then. I do get them just up on this area of. But it took me so long to find this place to be able to build up. I the hours of wandering around. It was quite irritating. I, st I still got um, 15 concrete walls to build, which adds up to give or take 390, 400 ish stone. So that's going to take a while. Head over here, open. Grab the iron ingot. If any have smelted iron ingots, and they have. Right, let's head over to the table. Now I've not actually crafted these. This is a first for me. I've not done too much in the game. I've mostly had fun just building walls and whatnot. Light tower. Where are you? There you are. I was already selected on it. Right, let's craft this. We can show off our super muscles again. I don't know if you need to um, power them up or not. I did have a plan. I'm going to put one in each corner of the base. Just like I've got the flags at the minute. Just because I think it would look nice. And right, so Okay. Let's we'll see if we can get it in the corner a bit. go we should have spotlights coming into our base off of that I am um, huh, thinking about it I won't be able to show you what it looks like until night time which means I'll have to make a video at night which isn't very much fun um, actually I know what I can do I can pause the recording I can play and farm and carry on until night time and then I can show you guys what it's like at night and I will see you in a bit. Look at that, as if by magic it is now night time. And um yeah, I didn't play until night time, I went and got something to eat. And look, you can see our um light tower, it's lit up the base a little bit. Not very much, I'll admit. But a little bit. And it's set out a light at the front of the base. I just logged in and it was night time, so that makes me want to go to bed. There we go, look. Nothing special, nothing awesome, but it is at the same time. I managed to position that, as you saw, completely accidentally to shine straight onto the gate, which is kind of cool. Makes it look as though I'm trying to protect my shit. over to the gate and see what happens when we open it, shall we? That front of the base is nice and safe. That actually looks really good. Right, that's all for um, this episode. Uh, I apologize again for the sniffles. I do have hay fever. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You stay safe. I am Goat, you are awesome, thank you very much for watching my video, leave a like, a comment, maybe a subscription, because there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, so I'm going to have a lot of videos to make, stay safe guys.